we recording? I think so. Okay, hi. Um, good morning, Mr. President-elect. Um, my name is John Biddle, and I'm speaking to you from West Plains in Missouri. Today is November the 11th, uh, Veterans Day here in America, um, also known as Remembrance Day in England. And uh, I'm standing outside uh, the church where I'm an associate pastor. I'll just show you that. Uh, today we're having a, a yard sale, and there's my church. We're having a yard sale because uh, we like to have some uh, money set aside for um, you know homeless people, people who are in desperate need uh, for their winter bills, and we use that money to um, help them. Uh, we're entirely volunteer run and so no one makes any money from this church. We survive on about 25,000 a year and um, Remembrance Day in England is a time when we remember the, um, the millions of men and women who uh, gave their lives um, to in someone else's battle really, you know, the royal families of Europe that uh, caused so much devastation over the previous 2,000 years. Um, you know, it all culminated in that First World War and left one particular uh, country in um, relative poverty. And um, there was a young man who, uh, from Austria who served in that First World War, who um, was a Christian, and he took it upon himself to uh, rebuild the country of Germany and his, one of his slogans, I think, was make Germany great again. And um, it's in his example, I think, why a lot of people are afraid of you. Um, and it's, uh, you know, understandable, I think. I think it's not a bad thing that the world be afraid of you. Um, maybe that will um, prevent some of the uh, crackpots around the world from um, following that young man's example. Um, and certainly there have been several other tyrants in uh, history since him who have, you know, tried to uh, dominate their country. Uh, but I think you have a real heart for the people, and especially the working people of America who have been stiffed out of, um, you know, uh, really good manufacturing jobs. I mean, certainly in this town, thousands of jobs have been lost to Mexico and China. Um, it used to be a big manufacturing city, and, and now it's not. And uh, I'm, I've always been concerned about those people. Um, I'm, I'm not a politician. I've been a guest in your country for the last 15 years. I'm a permanent resident here, at least for the next five years. And uh, I'd like to be a citizen, but um, we'll see what the next four years brings. Um, but one thing uh, is I want to help you. Um, I've sent this message to President Obama in, a couple of years ago. I've sent this message to Bernie Sanders in a written letter. I've sent this message to charitable foundations uh, across uh, America. I've talked to, you know, um, small business administration people here in this town and in St. Louis where I worked for seven years. Um, and no one seems to understand this idea because um, but luckily I found a brilliant attorney here in West Plains called Lyndall Beard and he helped me uh, develop this idea into what is now what I call a uh, fiduciary mechanism uh, that will bring Wall Street to Main Street uh, because here in Missouri you can start a business for $55 online and I believe that, um, and that that's anyone of any age, uh, any background can start a business here um, they don't even have to be a citizen, um, but what I believe is that um, the problem is, that we have in this country and in Europe is the massive wealth debt, uh, wealth gap that exists and this uh, mechanism that I've created um, has, will, um, will end that wealth gap because it will share the wealth before it's created. Um, I just want to say I've been a Christian since I was nine years old. Um, I realize I have, uh, you know, like you, a massive ego, but whereas you're a, an extrovert, I'm an introvert. And um, so my, my, uh, 
my goal in life, you know, has been to be a writer and try and use entertainment and and, think, and music to try and inform people and wake people up to this uh, inequality that exists. Uh, but I understand that you're a very shrewd businessman. Um, I uh, highly respect your um, abilities in that area. And I'm looking for your help to take this uh, idea that I call Fanshare in, to the next level and put me in touch with some people uh, like the guy who started PayPal, for example, um, in order to write an API that then anyone could use on their website in order to launch a new product uh, using shares and in the, in the development of that pr uh, product they could share they could give shares to the people that help them create the product and then they when they launch the product they could give shares to the first um, US residents who actually buy that product therefore making some of the first customers also equity owners in that product so basically you create an LLC for every new product that um, your company produces and then you have one LLC as the um, parent company that owns all these smaller LLCs and uh, so it's a very simple idea and uh, about three years ago I had a vision from Christ who told me to give this idea away um, because you know kind of like uh, Obama said to you yesterday um, you know we're all in this together, we're all one team, and uh, your success is our success, and so I wish you the best. I wish you, you know, a happy Veterans Day. I hope you take this message to heart, because up until now, no one has understood the idea. Everyone thinks I'm an idiot or a radical, um, and I guess in, in a way, you know, I am kind of an idiot. I mean, who has a brilliant idea like this and then gives it away, but, um, I want God to get all the glory, I want Jesus Christ to get all the glory, um, and I also, you know, want the hard-working Americans to get a share of what is rightfully theirs. And you can go after it through taxation, but I think it'd be better to just create a mechanism that shares wealth before it's created, so that people don't get corrupted by, you know, buy that money or at least the CEOs don't get corrupted by that money in the future because that's sort of the human condition. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up now. Uh, God bless you. Good luck with your presidency and uh, I hope you come to visit West Plains one day. Um, you'll find that you have tons of supporters here. So, good luck.